saving the bees, an effort underway to help these pollinators. Mary Jambayesa explains what Assembly Bill 221 would do and the role bees play in Southern Nevada. Apples, peaches, and pears. It's just one of the many fruits at Gilcrease Orchard that fuel the farm and provide for our community. Mark Rubin, the director of Gilcrease Orchard, says they can't do it without a little help from these. So we just make a high for them. We give them some sugar water so that they can they can start developing their own comb and and their their own uh, honey. Bees are an important part of Gilcrease Orchard. They help carry pollen in between blossoms, which can help fertilize the fruit trees. In February, we have flowering, um, our trees start, start to flower, especially the peaches, they'll start first, and then the, the plums and the apricots, they all flower, and, the, and you'll see the bee activity on those on warm days. That's why Patrick Donnelly, the Great Basin Director at the Center for Biological Diversity, says protecting bees is crucial. Donnelly has been following Assembly Bill 221, which would protect bees and butterflies under the wildlife classification in Nevada. Currently, these pollinators aren't managed by the Nevada Department of Wildlife or any state agency. He says if the bill is passed, Endow can determine what needs to be done to protect bees, whether it's the vegetation bees get pollen and nectar from or more. There's a lot we don't know about which bees and butterflies live in Nevada and uh, and what their conservation status is. I think the other big one is habitat restoration, you know, taking uh, various measures to promote better habitat for pollinators. Donnelly says insect populations are vulnerable and this bill would help preserve our environment and food supply. Without a desert ecosystem, this is just, uh, Nevada is just a pile of dust and, uh, and we actually know it's an amazing biodiverse place and that uh, insects are the cornerstone of those ecosystems. The committee deadline for Assembly Bill 221 is a few weeks away. Now, if the House Committee on Natural Resources passes it, the bill would head to the Assembly floor.